Lots and lots of Alafiyat, all my family, family out there. How are we doing today? It is very nice to be here with you again. Welcome to Ifaila Ministry. Today, what we're going to be talking about is EBs. I kind of said to myself, hmm, the history of the world as a big one. My, how does it start? <laughs> wow. So I said, all right then, ah, uh, the part of it that takes my interest this minute is EBs. And uh, who are they? I said to myself, who are, uh, who are our EBs? Who are our EBs? Uh, and uh, the first thing that came to my mind is um, alphabets, letters, you know. As in A, as in um, A, B, C, D. But the first one I think is A, B, D. And um, I remember uh, in one of my songs, oh, yes, I'm a singer. Yes, I am. Um, in one of my songs, I stated that just ordinarily, really. Because I just write and write and write. So there was this moment in my, in my life that um, uh, I think for maybe a year or two, all I was doing constantly was just writing songs, writing songs. So in one of the songs which I recorded was A, A, was, um, A B, D, Ella, A B C Ella, and uh, it was little, little, little words that I started to think about it. What is R P D Ella, A B C Ella? Then I realized it's alphabetical order of, if you like, science of languages, and A B D. I'm not even sure if I remember how to read it properly from A to Z without having the letter in front of me. Uh, but that's the first alphabet that is our first known to man, especially E L A L. And um, R B D is Yoruba, whilst um, A B C is our uh, English. RBD is Yoruba language and ABC is um, English language. Now, if you're someone who is um, interested in science or language, I'm kind of interested in that of late, like from yesterday. <laughs> um, like seriously, literally from yesterday, I'm starting to think science or language, you know? So just, Without even making much effort, you, you start to think, hmm, RBD, then the next language to RBD is ABC. Now, the letters I'm, that, that I'm going to connect with today for the purpose of this video is Y. Is it Y? Y? Yeah, I think it's Y. Yeah, yeah. You know the Y with this? <laughs> y. Yeah. Uh, the sign of a tree. When you write Y and you look at a tree, you can see the relative of Y and the tree. As in T H R E E. So, so my heart instructed me, according to Ifaila, to connect that to EB, and that's what I wanted to talk about today about our EBs. Who are they? Who are our EBs and what are their characters or characteristics? Our EBs are grandiose human beings. Uh, 
the type that when you know if I decide to allow you to see them in their grandiose uh, fashion, there's nothing like it. It's like putting all the colors of rainbow together as one and lights just begin to shine forth through that. That is uh, the grandiose uh, fashion of, of, of our EBs. They're very beautiful people, inside and on the outside. And they are uh, intellectuals. Number one, uh, intellectuals. In fact, I think I would say they are responsible for all the knowledge that we have in the world today. And the knowledge that they have given to the world is um, the knowledge that they've given to the world is full of uh, knowing and clarity of nature, of the world and everything that is in it and how we're meant to relate to everything. From the deep that we're able to connect with and the height that we're able to connect it all around us, inside and on the outside. Their knowledge is very clear. They are a perfect teachers. Their pockets overflow. life that goes on and on and on. Now, the um, irony there is that for some reason, which is best known to those who are responsible, you know, for those reasons, whereby we don't hear of them. EBs are not talked about. When without them, without EBs, there's no world. It's through EBs that, obviously, one cannot talk about the EBs without involving our babas, meaning our ifadas, because uh, our EBs are, they never walk alone. And through our EEBs that everything was born, if you like. Through our EEBs, is uh, it's through our EEBs that everything came to be. It's through our EEBs that everything came to life. Now, you know, uh, uh, even as myself, who is the product of EEBs, uh, there's only uh, a certain, um, how can I put it, level that one is allowed to, 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 to step into, if you know what I mean, because world, life, universe, it is beyond, it doesn't matter how wild or far our imagination can take us. When it comes to the universe, the world, the planet and the EABs, they have to be present with you for you to even be allowed to go to certain places. And it's only because it is written concerning you. I'm certain certain people will be able to relate to what I am saying. You know. So our EABs, uh, I'm not here to put blame on anybody, but we I'm learning how to see see uh, the writing and the beauty of God upon the world without having to, you know, call anybody names. That that's I, I feel that's you know like a new chapter of my life whereby I'm learning to build character, to be able to get my point through without, you know, be, be, without uh, uh, insulting anybody, to, to be precise, you know, and um, 
it doesn't mean the people who are culprits or how he bees who are not being spoken about don't know themselves. So me knowing, being confident that these people, the culprits, know who they are, you know, that's that's enough for me. You know. Um so yeah, our AABs are not talked about. It's only the people that they have taught their knowledge of life to that we somewhat even speak about. You know, for example, Moorish people. And one can go on and even begin to name names of these beautiful people like Moorish people, but we never even bother to concern ourselves from where they come from, who are responsible for their being, you know. And to think of EB as uh, one person or a particular group of people, one would be making a serious mistake because EB is uh, everything beyond our wildest imagination. Uh, everything, everything that we can never be able to 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 uh, finish talking about you know we're only going to have to do you know our own purpose in this space and you know the joy is the purpose that we're here to do is going to be established and uh, so EABs are not talked about so it makes me wonder why wasn't it being talked about? But to, to allow us to understand what I'm saying a bit better, it makes sense to put them in a practical sense. So that it won't be like a, uh, we're talking about something that is uh, uh, beyond reality. As they are beyond reality, so they are reality as well. So why is the reality of EABs being hidden away or not talked about or even being treated in a manner that it shouldn't be? Now, EAB is in a practical sense, is the earth. In a practical sense, EAB, in a, in a practical oneness of everything, is the earth. And every one of us, we wake up every day, we have no option because of their, of their generosity of life upon us. We are able to get up every morning and stand up on the earth. Now that being said, that is a lot about EABs, their beauty, their strength, their grandeur, their character, their strength, their purpose, their respect for life and their honor for everything. Now, what certain group of people have taken upon themselves to do a lot of things and become, instead of a knowledge of life that sued everything, if it has become a a confusion, yes, a confusion, and this group of people who had done this, they um, will not come and tell you and myself that they don't particularly know what they are doing. And the confusion just tend to continue to pile up. We give honor to the universe that if I lie in spite, no matter how confused we get as people, if I lie bring forth a line to our life and light spring forth from light. Provided we begin to connect with the importance of respecting nature, planet, universe, the world that are given to us by our EABs, for they are, our EABs are the builders, 
of the world. And they are grandiose. It's not humanly describable, but when they allow us to see just a little wasps of their beauty and their purpose and their greatness, it's, it's beautiful. Why are EABs not included in everything that we do? Just in the manner which is the truth, as our life dependent on them. Why did we not give them the ultimate respect that we should? in everything that we do. Now what is happening is in practicality EBs are represented now. So uh, only to remove the confusion from our lives and from our space and from our atmosphere and from our environment and from our world. It may seem as, as if what I said is kind of otherwise as, you know, the perpetrators continue to pursue uh, confusion, many confusing people. Instead of recognizing the beauty he be as spring forth upon the world, they don't want that because they don't want people to truly rejoice in their joy. So for you to really be among those people who rejoice in your joy, you need to begin to realize there is more to this life that you've been told and that you've been taught. Just start to look inward. Start to decide by yourself that you are a good person. And where you came from before you become one with your mother and she gave birth to you, demanded that you are good, created you for greatness, commanded that you are good. So decide that you can be good, it is possible. Goodness, that's who we be, are. See, that which, which we know not to be good is made up by an individual group of people. And people, I can assure you, people who created problem, they don't know how to solve it. If the world was made for problem genuinely, think about it. I'm sure the world will be here. In a simple sense of things, EBs are not happy with the ways of human beings. That is not up to up to scratch at all. Because heaven and earth has merged as one. So it's going to be an impossible task to feel that we can continue to live a life that does not involve and include our ABs directly. A lot of wrong have been done by this certain group of people to the earth, to the world, to the people, to everything in it that earth cannot agree with that anymore. We cannot say to ourselves anymore, we don't want God in man's affair. According to Ephila, Man's affairs is God's affair because if there's no God, meaning EABs, EABs, and the knowledge in which they thought us, which is the grandeur of the planet of the world, and how we must nurture our planet, you know, is through Ephila. Everything else is just ah. Uh, indirect of that and that is what the new day is all about re you know building our brain our mind our soul and our body to serve this purpose of uh, nurturing which is what we call tilting our earth 
as it is given to individual community or nation states of the world. Instead of, you know, uh, promoting our EABs for all the goodness that they've done for us to the world, uh, we decided not to talk about them. We decided to be uh, on even undermining their life span, you know, their, their uh, physicality, because the clarity today is that as God is beyond our reach, our widest imagination, so God is intelligent, God physicality, God knowledge, which is what directly comes from EBEs to everything that represents them, and that is the world and everything in it. In any level, any state of things at all, EABs were not mentioned. And even where they were mentioned, it's, 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 it's bare minimum. That doesn't even, you know, it's... And to top it all up, different names, were allotted to them by this group of people. And over time, over time, EABAs, their physicality, you know, on this earth, they begin to forget about who they really are. And they take on all these fake names given to them by I remember a song, I think it's, it was sung by um, James, is it James Brown? I laugh here to James Brown, <laughs> I'm sure I can hear you now. But why did I say that? It's, it's, a, it's a man's world, it's nothing without a woman. He tried, didn't it? But that still doesn't speak the grandeur of he is. One may even they say it's the other way around. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> uh, and I can assure you, Mr. James Brown agrees with me now because when people are sent over there, things are just so clear and fresh and beautiful and real and true. They don't lie there. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so he agrees with me that yes, EB is a grand deal, and without them, we wouldn't have the world. And the aim for the world right from the onset hasn't changed to beautify our world and seriously, you know, feel and live with their beauty upon our lives all that time always you know where uh no one will be doing am to the other person meaning h-e-r-m to the other person i know in my heart that that world is a reality yeah so our EB is it is their time now. And we cannot um, hide ourselves away from them any longer because, you know, they are the favorites of God that none of us are able to completely know everything about. You know, the honor of heaven and earth and everything in it. Right, on that note, I would like to say I love you to all my family out there, uh, all my YouTube family. Begin to connect with the strength of Ugo in you and begin to uh, rebuild your, your house. That's your body, your mind, body, and soul. That's your number one house. Begin to do right by that. And, and I know everything will begin to fall in places for your favor. Uh, I love you.
to you. And uh, as always, I keep all my love here to myself as well. It is allowed. Thank you. We owe the clarity that uh, in every path that we take, Ogun is ahead of us to clear the way. I love you. I love you. I love you. Now, to the comedy session. Obviously, my YouTube family don't um, know about that, so, so I'm kind of telling you today. <laughs> I am very, very fond of uh, comedy. One of the things I like a lot is comedy. You know, if I'm in a place where I can, you know, go and watch comedy, I will go and watch comedy every week. I love comedy. Fun one, yeah. Funny comedy, yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, I realize this comedy, I have come, I, I'm a com comic. I'm coming as well. But I just I just know that I like to be funny as well. <laughs> and uh, so now with this MG MG, you know, I knew I have to bring from that comedy aspect of me to balance my energy. You know? So and uh, I said to my family so I said to them, you know, my YouTube video that uh, uh, I, I, I fat in there. And they said, eh, they started going on. You know, you can't be doing that on YouTube. You know, you, that's a global, uh, what, something. Uh, and somebody said, uh, there's a five types of what, how, things is uh, there's personal there's a business there's a there's a public they are mentioning stuff like, okay i was just listening and uh anyways have you ever heard of uh dr uma dr uma no uma dr uma uh is a famous person on youtube uh, youtube personality and um one of his, uh, his one of his famous names as well is uh, Ifatunde. Ifatunde. You say Ifatunde. <laughs> you say Ifatunde. <laughs> you know, American accent. Um, and um, because I was wondering, why did I say that? I was wondering why I, my family talking to me about Doctor Uma. Why my family talking to me about Doctor Uma? I said, I said, I was saying to myself, I didn't tell them, but I was just saying that to myself. So they just carry on. If somebody wants to go out, for example, they're telling me, for example, you can't just be doing Ifala ministry and then you're doing comedy and you're fighting. You too will not know where to place what you're doing because of the allegory of what, what. I'm like, mm. So, then Dr. Uma, Dr. Uma is serious. Is educative, you know, and um, that's what he was saying to me. And um, yeah, of course, every now and then we throw a little bit of humor there, but it's 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 a serious topic, and it's and it's and it's um, uh, educative, and you know, at least you know what what you go to. Are you an entertainer? They're asking me or or you find a ministry? So because of if I told them, that's why they were talking to him, I get it. They didn't particularly tell me, I get it. It's going I'm like, why are they talking to me about Doctor, about Doctor Huma when I'm having a conversation with them? It was because if I took it, if I am in history, do you get it? So, uh, that made me to start to think that they are making sense. So I decided, my, and my heart kind of guide me, it's all right. Because I cannot particularly let go of the comedic aspect of me. I like it. It's for me, if you know what I mean. And um, so I decided, right, if I am ministry, if I am ministry, then comedy, I'm going to kind of make room for that as well in my, in my, for myself, in my life, you know. So I decided to 
you know, to a bit of comedy today. So this is the, now this is the first comedy I, I, I was <laughs> communicating that to my family and say, if you sound funny to them. I said, um, well, I'm not, oh, do you know the famous, um, educative Pan-Africa, uh, personality on YouTube? His name is uh, Dr. Huma. Well, I'm not Dr. Huma. I don't do humor. I do photogram. <laughs> do you get it? I don't do humor. I do photogram. comedy now what comedy shall we somewhat including that uh, you know human photogram part of it um okay oh yeah I've got another one um if <laughs> don't come to my comedy show unless you are willing to become fat in your wealth health and riches. Thank you for watching.